Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So this is my update to the Vivor uh, mini lathe that I posted a video when I first got it. Um, I made a few changes, changed out a few things. I uh, got it running fairly decent. Uh, one of the biggest changes that I made was there's uh, these little bars that hold it, hold the saddle to the bed on both sides. Um, on this far side, it was too short and I, I tried clamping it as tight as I could, but every time I would crank this, um, the wheel, the whole saddle would just kick back and forth, back and forth. Um, so I just took, I took some mild steel, about the same thickness, made it a little longer, so it sits like nice and tight up against the, the bed and um, kind of uh, reduced all that. I oiled everything really good. I changed out this tool post this tool post that it comes with, complete junk. Um, got some quality cutting bits. Um, adjusted it to the proper height. And for all my uh, my more seasoned people who left me very positive comments on my first video, um, I got a book, which I already had. Um, but that's, this should make y'all happy since you said I didn't know what I was doing. But anyway, um, I'm cutting some 2024 aluminum. I am making it just a, a dummy round for this 20 millimeter F16 bullet that I have. Nothing too, too precise. Uh, I already cut the internal groove so it fits nice and tight. Now I'm gonna start shaping the bullet and uh, we'll see how this thing cuts. So far, I mean, it's not a bad finish. Uh, it's not, not the best, but uh, just for like an initial cut, just a rough cut, it cuts pretty well. I mean, I got, I already threw away a lot of these chips and uh, you guys will see in just a moment. I mean, it, it cuts some chips, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I got, I got this thing moving nice, nice and smooth. It's not really walking as bad as it used to. I'm telling you, it used to, every time you turn it, it was kicking side to side, which is why I took the, uh, the screw for the, the power feed out so I could get a tighter tolerance on this saddle so it wouldn't walk side to side. I mean, you guys can see a little bit right here, this piece that I made. Um, nothing too crazy. It just fits pretty snug against here. Anyway, we'll get to uh, making some chips and cutting so you guys can see this. As you can see, um, not a horrible finish, but uh, I mean, yeah, it was it was making some chips for sure. Not too bad. Uh, I took my time. That was a very uh, light cut. I have uh, I have a roughing bit that I've made some heavier cuts on. Um, not too bad for this left-handed cut.
you guys, as you can see, um, not a bad finish. A little deeper of a depth cut, um, but overall, not too bad. Um, I'll put a gauge on it for you so you can see, you know, how many thousands of an inch it is off. All right, so I've zeroed out this uh, Harbor Freight gauge. As you can see, zero, and I'll just do, uh, I'll go across it so you guys can see how good the cut was, tolerance-wise. Now, I know this is a Harbor Freight gauge, probably not the most accurate. Um, but I guess for a Chinese lathe, and this is, and a Chinese uh, gauge, this is not too bad. I don't know why it's going all the way up. As it gets closer to there, let me re-zero it out and go back and see what it does. And I'm gonna re-zero, just spin it. Let's see. It's not too bad. Seems to be fairly accurate. I mean, I wouldn't be making NASA parts with this, but if you're a hobbyist like me, and you know, just making, tinkering, making a few things, it doesn't have to be super, super precise. Uh, it's not a horrible lathe. You do have to modify it and zero it out. Straight out of the box, like you guys saw in my first video. I mean, it's it's pretty rough, but I guess that can be expected coming from China, bouncing around. Um, do got to tweak it, modify. I still got quite a few modifications I want to do to it. Still not super, super happy with it. Uh, for the price, I guess it's all right. I really wanted to find like a used American lathe. Uh, they're just not as available in my area and they're really expensive for my budget. Yeah, there you go guys. I mean, you can see the accuracy of the cut. It's not too bad. Um, I got it down to the depth I want because I want to put a shoulder right here for this dummy round. Let's see if I can get the bullet on there. So the casing fits pretty nice. Um, I just got to cut a shoulder stop and then start shaping the bullet, cut it off and uh, get it all polished. All right, guys, so uh, this is what I was making. I know it's not a correct shape of a bullet before you guys roast me. Uh, it's just a fun little project that I made on this uh, Vivor lathe. Uh, just to test out the capabilities of it. As you can see, I made a lot of chips. The finish is not too bad. Uh, yeah, I'll keep modifying it and um, seeing, seeing what I can do. But overall, not too bad, not too good. Um, you get what you pay for. Like in my previous comments on the video, uh, you guys like to inform me of that. Uh, yeah, not not uh, not bad. All right, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Till next time. Just leave me uh, leave me some comments. I'm sure you guys will. And uh, check out my, my content. Thanks.